Hello everyone, I'm going to be talking about the Nespresso coffee machines and how to troubleshoot and some tips. This will work for all your Nespresso machines, whether it be the Inicia, Ascensa, Latissima, all our range, it will work. This machine is called the Ascensa and I'm going to show you some troubleshooting tips. So the first most common issue would be the no coffee flow. There's no water pouring out, no coffee pouring out. Now the first thing you want to check is of course the water tank. So I'll show you here. This is the water tank right here at the back of the Ascensa. Now basically what happens commonly is that the water tank can run dry and an air pocket can form. Now I'll show you an example of what happens if there's an air pocket in the machine. So the water tank's empty now and we're just going to run, pretend we're making a coffee, um, press any cup button just to show what happens when you run the tank dry. So you can see it'll make a very loud noise as well. And you can see there's no water flow. No water's coming out, tank is dry. But if you fill up the water tank now and press a button, no water will come out because there's an air lock. So I've filled up the water tank now, as you can see, connect it onto the machine, make sure it's all connected properly. You also need to make sure some machines, the hinges at the top connect to these holes at the back. Make sure if it's not connected properly, you won't detect the water tank is in place and it'll give errors. So we got water in the tank now, waste coffee. So let's just pretend we're making coffee now. Press the espresso button. This is a lungo button. Lungo means long in Italian. So espresso, lungo, 40 mils, 110 mils. So let's press the espresso button and you can see no flow. So you can see no flow came out, even though the water tank is full because we created an air pocket. Now all the Nespresso machines, the newer models, have an auto priming device. An auto priming device basically automatically pumps water through. It's a part, internal part of the machine. All you need to do is just keep on trying to run water through the machine. So let's press the espresso button again and see if water comes out. It'll take a bit of time. The sound will change and you can see now water's coming through. Now if the air pocket is a lot bigger inside the machine and you've pumped way too much air in the machine, it'll take a lot longer. So just keep on pressing the espresso button or lungo button until water comes through the spout. So that would be the first issue that there's an air pocket in the machine and all you need to do is press the espresso or lungo button with no coffee inside. I didn't put a capsule inside as you can see. Close it and keep on pressing the cup button. So that's the first troubleshooting tip if there's no flow. Second troubleshooting tip would be that there's coffee grinds stuck in the machine. Now if you use the machine for a long period of time, coffee grinds can get caught inside. Now basically if you look inside, you pull up your lever and you look inside, if you look towards the front of the machine, there's a grid plate. You probably can't see clearly, but if you have a look at your own, you'll see there's a grid plate. It looks like a grid or cheese grater. Basically inside that pyramid plate, there are small, tiny, tiny holes. And that's where the coffee and water passes through. So basically the pressure of the water will puncture and pierce, create that grid pattern on the foil end of your capsule. So here's an example of the capsule. So basically you put it in like so, but basically if that grid plate is blocked with coffee grinds, no coffee will come out. So what you need to do is clean the pyramid plate. So what I do is usually just get a toothbrush that you're not using, make sure it's clean of course. Just wet your toothbrush a bit and brush the inside towards the front of the pyramid plate. That will clean any coffee grinds that might be caught in there. Once you've done that after a few times, flush water through again. Make sure your water tank is full and you'll find that if you haven't done it for a long time, the water will be really dirty and coffee grinds will just come pouring out if you haven't done it and it'll, it'll be really dirty. So you just need to basically keep repeating those steps, brushing, flushing water through until the water becomes clearer. Now it'll never fully become clear because there's still like coffee internally and inside, but 
it should be a lot clearer than before. So that would be the second tip if there's no coffee flow, if the pyramid plate is blocked. Now the third tip would be the coffee spout is blocked with coffee grinds. So what we, a lot of people don't maintain their Nespresso machines properly. Um, and it's very important because especially from infestations to occur, the machine is hot if you leave the machine on for a while. It has a thermo block which heats up. It's got a 19 bar pump and it's all very hot. Um, basically, if it gets very hot, it attracts insects. So make sure you clean it very well every day if you can at the end of each day when you finish using it. The best way to clean it is just to do what I said before, flush water through the machine without a capsule until the water becomes clear. If you do that, it'll be a lot clearer internally and from the spout. Now, so I'll show you what happens, um, what you need to do to clean the spout. All you need to do is get like a paper clip like so, poke it up the coffee spout. Now it'll go up about five centimeters or so. So you can see, look how far it goes up. Poke it up, keep poking, poking, keep poking. Sometimes it's hard to find where it goes up, but if you just keep moving it around, you'll be able to find, and it goes right up, you can see. Once you keep poking that, flush water through again. So that is the most important. You've done that, don't put a capsule inside, water tank is full, now flush water. Press the cup button and flush. It's very clean my machine because I maintain it very well. And basically that's all the main tips. Now if you've got an old Ascensa machine, which looks like a dome type machine and the handle is like a silver, not many people have them anymore, but it doesn't have an auto priming device, so it won't flush water through by just keep on pressing the button. What you need to do is if you've got a, a Senza old machine, it's called the EN90, EN95 or C100, you, this lever will be able to go further back. You'll be able to push it further back. So if you get an airlock and there's no coffee flow, fill up the water tank to the top, push this lever as far as it can go backwards, and it will squirt water inside the extract unit. You'll see water spray out. That releases the air pocket. Once you push that back and you see the squirt of water, close the lever, press the cup button, water will pour out. So that's on the older machines. Now, not many people have the older sensor. It's probably from 2000 and I'd say it'd be from 2008 and backwards or maybe even 2010. So it's already a 10 year old machine if you've got that sensor. But they're the main tips. Hope it helped a lot. If you have any other further questions, any more troubleshooting tips you want me to talk about, feel free to comment below. Make sure you subscribe and like. Thanks for watching.